Today I will show you the Ostwald process in an experiment. The Ostwald process is used for the large scale production of nitric acid by oxidizing ammonia. <laughs> Of course, the experiment can also be set up and carried out with ordinary lab stands. In the past lab stands were made of heavy cast iron, nowadays they are made of a cheap alloy and are very wobbly. Therefore I will first show you how to build a modular inexpensive lab frame yourself. My lab frame is based on a 4040 aluminum extrusion with a length of 50 cm. I cut an M6 thread at both ends. The feet are made from a 4mm aluminum plate which I cut to shape with a jigsaw. The rods are made of aluminium with a diameter of 10 mm. I use them because they are easy to thread. An M10 by M8 adapter is screwed onto the M10 thread on the aluminium rods. Then an M8 threaded rod and a star grip nut are added. This allows the rods to be moved and tightened on the extrusion. The required burner was obtained from a camping supply store. I made an adapter blade for it so that I could mount it on the extrusion. Instead of lab clamps, I use pipe clamps from the DIY store, as they are much cheaper. When you set up an experiment in chemistry, you actually always have to bend some customized glass tubes. I use silicone tubing almost exclusively for flexible connections. I always have different sizes in stock as well as adapters. Sharp edge glass tube ends should always be fire polished to prevent injury.
since ammonia air mixtures with an ammonia content of 15.5 to 27% are explosive, I made a flashback arrester by inserting copper wool into the glass tube. For the experiment I use a vacuum ejector, which has the advantage that unreacted ammonia and nitrogen oxides are simply sucked away. Compared to an electric vacuum pump, it has the advantage that the vacuum ejector is insensitive to the corrosive ammonia and nitrogen oxides. As with my Döber Einer's lamp, I use platinum mineral wool from hand warmers as a catalyst. As a second catalyst, I use aluminium oxide as I did in my Haber Bosch video. I use the diluted universal indicator to detect the formed nitric acid. Here you can see white mist in the gas washer bottle. This indicates that the ammonia content of the gas mixture is too high. Ammonia nitrate and nitrite are formed. It took me a while to set the flow rate correctly. The contact time at the catalyst must only be short, otherwise the nitrogen monoxide formed will break down into nitrogen and oxygen again if the temperature is too high. After hours of experimenting, I finally succeeded. The gas washer bottle began to fill with brown nitrogen dioxide and the indicator solution turned deep red. That's it for now. Stay true, stay you.